we'll see what happens. Well, these old photos from the 1970s show Crystal Spring Farm when it was a working farm, and in just one generation, it went into a crumbling decay, and that's when I acquired it. So this 1786 horse barn was made into an apartment. Yeah, that's what it looked like when I purchased it. The problem was is that they built this fireplace right in the back of the barn, and it created a lot of damage to the sill and the beams. And this is, just watch what we do. Basically, this chimney was holding up the whole barn and ratted all the sills, all the water damage, and man, it created for some precarious situations and some of the funner moments of this barn. Man, I'm telling you, this fireplace being built up against the beams and the concrete and the water damage just created, I mean, it was the only thing holding up this whole barn. I mean, just look at it. There's nothing holding it up. And here we go, man. It was tough to save this barn, but this was, this was crazy. Watch your toes, Pete. Jesus, Pete. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. <coughs> Except for where to do it. We're talking about that chimney right there. We're gonna do what was it, Pete? Two what? horizontal cuts. Two horizontal cuts on the inside, and just undermine everything on the outside. So Where's your beer? Where's your beer? So Pete got done doing all that over there, and he said, "Clean up aisle five. <laughs> A real bad discovery just found out. And that knee brace, nothing, it's all ratted. And half that beam towards the outside. Put stick that up there. Yeah, that's all. No meat there. So now we got a kind of a major problem. Uh, whoa! Clean up on aisle six this time. That much meat there. Because concrete creates moisture. So, breathe moisture. Breathe moisture. So, I don't know. Yeah, put a post here and ship lap a, another beam Doing over, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Shit. We better support this back wall. It's all hanging before we do any more demolition. That's not going to fit, Pete. That's too tall still. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Want me to go get another one? Slightly smaller. Oh, Pete's determined. So I cleaned that all out. Pete has the easy job here. He just put the jack there and I leveled it off and he put a steel plate. I don't know if you can see it back there. I can, it's twisted a little bit. Right there, yeah. Pete's decided to climb up this and stand on this with a jack hammer and peel this away against my better judge <laughs> look at all that rat but he says he doesn't fall yeah glue says he's too cool for school he said if he goes down he's throwing the jackhammer one way and he's jumping the other damn this is dangerous osha the boys and girls at osha wouldn't appreciate this. Look at that post just being held up by a screw jack on the left. There's no sill on the right. Only thing holding this thing is up is the chimney. Jesus. Are free. We just freed it so we can get a tractor or 
something around this baby and just pull it down. Yeah, Pete, I, I just called Pete off the thing. I said he's I'm awfully all my fun. He's awfully close to the edge and his comment was he's been close to the edge his whole life. <laughs> That's a great well, that was your comment. Well my comment. Well, and you agreed. Alright, I gotta help yeah. Pete did a pretty amazing job, but now he wants to get a quarter stick of dynamite and blow it up. Huh? He wishes he had a quarter stick to put that in that thing and just blow it. Would it blow, would it, blow it right over? Would it blow off the would it blow the the barn up though too? Oh, not if it was placed right. Not if it was placed right. Pete's a uh, professional pyrotechnician. That would be kind of cool. Would be. Ah uh, man, I hope his elbow doesn't hit that, knock that jack out, man. It'd be an avalanche effect, and the barn would be crumbling down on the chimney. Whew. Two the looms is gonna stop him. I bet you I can hammer that out now. Give a swipe with a 10 pound. So we made a relief cut or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Sledge hammered. We're going to try to topple this thing over. Worried about hitting this post here. I came up with the idea of putting these screw jacks in and Pete agreed, believe it or not. So that'll pressure it back. Putting the chain around it, right here. Yep. Big ass logging chain. Is that a thick enough chain? Pete? Yeah. One way to find out. Yeah. Here, here we go. Now we got what? Jackhammer to do. And now be well, not that. Well, I think those jacks actually helped. Oh yeah, they did. No doubt. Nothing to it, right, Pete? Clean up aisle twenty-nine now. So Yagalu's dreaming about us getting more you YouTube channel subscribers. So before he wakes up and finishes his crazy work on this beam. He'd love it if you'd hit the bottom right hand subscription button and subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell. This is the rotten beam that got real wet because the chimney was there. Looks like there's some been bugs in there. So what I'm gonna do is go in here and really whack it with a hammer and get rid of all this stuff. And I'm tearing these down so if i could see the underneath this beam oh well, it's getting pretty precarious now i'm doing this tearing it back there's that much meat left right here that's it holding all this up i'm a, not really nervous but i think we're just gonna have enough to sister it from there all the way to there. There he is. <laughs> Holding this barn part up. So we're cutting it at two and a quarter inches from there to there. Smooth. So the saws are as good as you can, and then we're gonna use a chisel. we get it along there that's a little softer but we'll see what happens what 
Two inches or two and a quarter? Two and an eighth. That's funny. Wow, what a difference.